Hello, weirdos, and welcome to another episode of Tangents, Tangents of Horror. Horror. I am Brandon. And I am Steven. And this is going to be a... Uh, Carryable episode. A bucket full of bloody fun kind of episode. Oh. Yeah, because buckets... Buck- there was buckets and there was blood and there was fun. It was, it was a bloody bucket. All in carry. It wasn't that fun. For them. Wink. Oh. It was fun for some people. For Us the watching. majority. Yeah. Us watching, too. We enjoyed it, Carrie. Thank you. Carrie as in... Carrie are, Underwood. We, yeah. Country music? Nope. I th- isn't that Princess Leia? Carrie Underwood. Shit, you might be right. Who did Princess Leia? See, now I have Carrie Underwood in my head. Um, for, no, I can't think of any other names. We are doing Stephen King's 1976 wonky flonky flick, Carrie. Yes, we are. Um, this was his first book. This was his first and book, sold... and it was the first adaptation. First adaptation. He sold it to this director or the producing studio, I don't know, for like 2500 yeah. bucks. Yeah. And he didn't regret it, because he's like, I was just fucking lucky to sell my first book as a flick. Carrie and Fisher. Carrie Fisher. <laughs> Damn right I looked that up, because that was going to bug me. Fisher. Why do they all have like these outdoorsy kind of names? I don't know. Maybe they're outdoorsy kind of people. Outdoorsy kind of gals. And that's okay. I would carry their bucket of fish for that. Carry them. on my wayward son. Oh, yeah. oh, it's such a good song. So good. I fucking love it. Oh, my God. It. Right? Who's Direct th- what? Who? Who made that song? Carry on my wayward uh, son. Uh, Kansas. That's, I've never even heard of them. Dust in the wind. Oh. All we are is dust. That's like their other big song. Oh. Yeah. One hit wonders to me. Sorry, That's guys. That's two hits. One hit wonders to me. Oh, because you only know one song. That's right. I get it That's now. That's right. That's because you don't know anything. That's right. <laughs> That's why I'm here. All right. But you know a little bit about this movie because you watched it. Yes. So. And I do my research because I'm a professional. Right. Right. I, right. Pro, bro. Thank you. Directed by Brian De Palma. Fucking legend. I love that guy. He He's made, so good. Scarface. Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Did he? I don't know. Probably not. I don't think he did. No. No, he did not. You were a Scarface. Make, don't listen to Steven. Don't listen to me. Dressed to Kill was another great one. He has two ex-wives. Damn. <laughs> Just calling him out. Blowout Scarface. Wise Guys. The Untouchables. Raising Kane. Mission Impossible. 96 Mission Impossible is crazy. Domino. Damn, he, he good. Okay. He good. He's got some. He's got some. Uh, he's got something to back him up. He's got some ammunition for the clip. And actually, I do know the answer to your question. It was him that wanted the rights, now uh, that I remember. The director? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, can't go wrong. Um, he nailed it. So yeah, written by Stephen King. Uh, fun fact, when he was writing this, he wrote the first few pages of like the opening scene and got a little scared to continue because he didn't know what it would be like to be in the mind of a teenage uh, girl. So he just threw it in the garbage and uh, his wife took it out and read it and was like, no, you got to finish this. I'll like help you with any questions or anything ah, very you have. Cool. What a good wife. And look what happened. What a good wife. What a good movie. What a good book. I like it all. It's all good. I always like a partnership where people celebrate each other's uh, passions. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it... <laughs> Cinematography by mm. Mario Tosi. Thanks, Mario. Thanks, Damn Italian right. fella. Damn right. Yeah. The cinematography was beautiful. Crazy one shots. Same with the music, which was by Apino Dinaggio. Yeah. Mm. Oh. It went from pretty to creepy. And he added a score for each individual scene. It wasn't just a reusage of the same theme song. Yeah, there was themes. There was a theme for like Carrie. Yeah. That like beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it. It sounded like a 50s like. Sort of. What's um, that like religious angel show that people talk about? Religious. Um, <sighs> Anita Battle Angel. <laughs> No, I, damn it, I forget. I don't. I never watched. I always bring up old shows that I never watched, like Once Upon an Angel. I don't fucking know, but it just sounds like one of those pretty fifties yeah. shows or something. I don't know. I like it. There you go. And then it goes creepy. And fun fact again, because when we were watching it, we were making fun of the fact that it kind of yeah. sounded like Psycho at some parts. Yeah. It was Psycho. They lifted yeah. literally parts Beautiful. from Psycho, and Can't it works so well. Uh, starring Sissy Spacek as Carrie. Love her. Uh, Amy Irving, Betty Buckley, Nancy Allen, William Catt, and first film, apparently. JT. John Travolta. Oh, I thought it was Justin Timberlake. Close. Oh. 
Justin Timberlake of the 70s. Yes, honestly. Even though I don't think Justin Timberlake has a chin bum. John I Travolta has bum chin. Chins. Bum chin? Yeah. Either way. <laughs> it's a it's a bum and a chin. Well, you don't see those anymore in movies, do you? In movies or just people? Because it's uh, usually on people. It's not like when the people are in the movies, they're like, no, hey, let's give you a bum yeah, chin. Yeah, yeah. It's a prosthetic. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Our character needs. Well, most people. Captain beards. American. Oh, Captain American. American. Yeah. Captain American. Captain American. That's Am- American's bum. Because he didn't have a beard. Didn't he in one movie? Shit. You're later right. on. Yeah, later on. But no, at first he didn't. No, does, I don't think he has a bum have, chin. No, it's just chisel- we like jaw lines now. Our beauty well, it's standards. not what we like. It's no, just, uh, oh, society. like society for what they put in movies. We, yeah. we as people, we as a as society, a, as a consumer basis. If you want to get specific. All right, George Costanza. We're living in a society. Every time he asks for help and people don't want to help him, yeah. that's what he screams. <laughs> I, f- I find more and more parallels to me and George. Well, that's what Seinfeld is. It's really awful characters that everyone relates to. Aren't we all awful guys? Carrie. What? Speaking of awful. Is she awful, do you think? No. Well, yeah. The people seen. around her. Everything's in slow motion. Dude, this scene was a great opening scene. Yeah. The camera goes over the uh, dodgeball game at first, but it's like coming down yeah. and then and going then through zoom, some of yeah. the girls, like in between them playing yeah. dodgeball and then to carry and then they throw the ball and it's the classic. It hits her or yeah, some shit. Classic. And, classic loser moment. And then we get the, the really locker slow-mo room. locker yeah. room. Just like a nice one shot, seven minutes. I don't know if they did a hit and wipe, but they don't usually do hit and wipes in film. Can you do that? No, I think this was literally just a camera, maybe on like wheels. You just... always love saying it's a dolly shot. What do you mean? You or love... so? Okay, it's someone holding I, the camera. I and just trust walking. the camera guys, but I think it's just going to the side. Yes, and, and then the it, lockers, and then starts walking forward. Yeah, it's really well done. And we we get a shot of Carrie. Those girls are messy. Oh, yo, you've ever been in a girls' locker room? With no. Oh, I, when I used to peek inside of them. Dude, they're a messy as hell. <laughs> I always see that as a trope, and I've never seen a locker room that had fucking windows. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't know how these schools in the 70s, I don't know where this trope came from. Yeah, where where did all those windows go? Why are there windows the there in the 70s? I guess because of shower and there's no fan. I don't know. I don't know. So you just open a window to get rid of steam. But I only see- took gym class in grade 9, I'm not going to lie. As soon as I was able to not take it, I was like... Peace, I'm out. Yeah, that explains that a lot. Fucking beep test, man. That, oh, yeah. No. Oh. If you don't have asthma, you want to feel like yeah, you yeah. do? You want to just throw up in the gym class? Um, yeah, and we get a shot of Carrie bathing, and then uh, she finds blood on her hand. The shot of this is really cool. Because yeah. it's just, it's like below her ass, so you just see her two legs. Yeah. But the one closest to the camera is going forward. Yeah. So she's kind of just cleaning the yeah, inside yeah. of the other one and then so it looks kind of soapy and then all of a sudden it's the yeah. blood and then her hand it's yeah and she starts freaking so many shots were so good in this movie she starts trying to ask for help from the other chicks yeah she kind of forgets how to speak yes. she's kind of just like ah like for the first i want to say 40 minutes of this flick i thought there was something wrong with carrie well yeah she doesn't talk a lot yeah. so i don't think she because the only interactions we knows. get is her at school, and she's super quiet and closed off, and her at home with her mom, and she's under an authority figure that she can't speak back to. So I, we don't hear her make a full sentence. No, because I think until up, until, up until this point in her life, this yeah. big event, no one really even paid attention to her. Right. And now all of a sudden, because they're getting in trouble because of it, yeah. and like someone feels so sorry, they want to take her to the dance that we'll get to. Yeah, it kind of ma- had this domino effect of her kind of having to talk all of a sudden. Right. Yeah. And so she asked for help. They the girls are just real nasty to her. Oh, I was shocked at <laughs> what these girls did. <laughs> they just fucking bu- put bullied her back into the corner and started throwing tampons at her. And plug it paper. up. Yeah. Plug it up. Plug it up. <laughs> She's freaking. Doesn't know what's going on. Well, yeah, she doesn't know what's going on with them, yeah. what's going on with her. And then the teacher has to come in, uh, shakes down, uh, what's her name? Sue? Yeah. Is it Sue? Um, and then she ends up, it's almost like this is what shaked her into being nice. Yeah. She was part of it. She was doing it. Yeah. Um, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and this is actually the first time she uses her power because the light goes pop. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. In the on the ceiling. And they even laughed at that, the girls. That's because they're crazy they're, bitches. They were they were psycho. <laughs> like they were seeing red. So it makes sense that we get a little psycho <gasps> psycho uh I think everybody was psychopathic in this film. Violins. Ah bleep bleep. The violins for the psychopaths out here. Yeah. That's how you know they're coming. I wanted a burp. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it went to you. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> it was like telepathic. Are we Carrie? Do I have the shine? The shinin. You don't want us to get no, sued. I don't oh sorry. That's a Simpsons reference. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they In their Halloween episode. Yeah, yeah. They do the shining and <laughs> uh Oh no. Who did it? Uh Willie. Groundskeeper Willie yeah. is the groundskeeper at the hotel, obviously. Yeah. And he goes to Bart and tries to explain what it is to him. And Bart's like, oh, you mean The Shining? He's like, hey, shh, <laughs> you want us to get sued? <laughs> oh, it's I miss The, the Simpsons. <laughs> I think we might have to watch some of those some, Halloween oh, episodes be great. when Halloween comes. All right. So it goes from this locker shower scene, pans out past the lockers, yeah. and that's when. That was weird. It's a weird knock somewhere. That it was, was a quite, knock in the wall. Quite Wink. loud. Wink. Whoa. Whoa. I felt it under my foot, too. I think it was from underneath. And it couldn't have been in the wall. That's the floor. Are to you, you standing on the wall? To Man, you, that's, that's rude. the floor. It's all really a matter of perspective. I don't come to your house and stand on the wall. Well, you don't have to. Okay. Well, thank you. I have I, to. I appreciate it. No worries. So, the next shot is... Uh, Carrie just sitting by herself, mm. and then the teacher comes over and is talking to her and shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, wait, sorry. I'm skipping ahead. This is where Carrie's sitting outside of the principal's office. Yeah. Another fucking great shot, because it's Carrie outside of the principal's office. But, again, there's a giant window yeah. that looks right into his office, and it's them talking, mm. but it's just staring at um carry and there's a lot of this perspective you shots. explained it so weird it, it was <laughs> um yeah it was carry in the foreground and it's a shot of the front of her face no well it's a little pulled out at this point it's not of and it's not zoomed in like a lot of the other ones because you can okay. see the full window oh, okay and got just you talking in the background yeah. even though it sounds like they're yeah and right we, in front of we us. see this like maybe four or five more times in this movie where they utilize two separate things that they filmed overlaid mm-hmm. on top of each other so we'll get one of the characters in the foreground and then two more characters in the foreground and they're both incredibly focused mm-hmm. uh in camera in, in the background two yeah. more characters in the background yeah but yeah they do that quite a bit did i say foreground twice yes incredible it is if they did that that'd incredible. be insane it'd How'd almost be that? like a normal shot yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah at this point we even find out that the principal isn't a big fan of her yeah or like not a big fan but people yeah, just dismissive. don't give a shit yeah Cause he keeps calling her Casey, yeah. Cassie, Cassie. Even when the teacher says no, yeah. it's Carrie. All right, well, send in Cassie. Yeah, and then Carrie says no, it's Carrie, and he's like, oh, sorry, Cassie. Typical men. And she uses powers once more. Once she gets pissed off at this guy, the ashtray, ashtray. She's staring down a lit ciggy. She was focusing that yeah. shit. She used the force. Yeah, bitch. boing. I wonder if it. this is where George Lucas got the idea for 1976. for Jedi's. It's true. That's, that's Luke funny. Skywalker has the shining. Maybe he's related to Carrie. Oh, well, this is actually probably what the Star Wars planet refers to it as the Force, whereas here on Earth we refer to it as the, as the shining. I like it. Yeah, but it's I the like same it. entity. Because they never come to Earth in, in, in the Star Wars. That's true. So how would we know? We don't, but we know, we know now. Han Solo from Earth? Or any uh, one of the characters from Earth originally? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question, I know, actually. right? Like any of the humans yeah, in yeah. that universe. Yeah. I would assume would think. so. It makes scientific sense. Well, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> so, yes, our Jedi. Uh, yeah. yeah. Her second thing is to, it just knocks off the table, right? It just like yeah, does a little flipping. Through. And then everyone freaks out, then cut. And we also hear them kind of talk about her mom a little bit yep. and how she's like a religious Cuckoo. nut. And the yeah. teacher's like, we can't really do anything. We can't be mean to people just because we don't yeah. understand them or whatever or, or agree with their religious beliefs. Yeah. But she's crazy. Yeah, this, this one's a real kook. Because we see her next. Yeah, we see her next. Carrie goes home. No, she, we get the, the little scene where she's going door to door, spreading the word, the mommy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I totally Because you thought she looked like Little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, who's this Little Red Riding Hood looking ass? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, she but walks like in. evil because it's like yeah. black little red She looks like a bit like a witch. Yeah. Yeah, she goes in, the, in this woman's home, and then this woman just pays her off and says, here's $10. I'll make a donation. Get the fuck out. And it pisses her off. And she's like, I'll soap you find Jesus. I think the woman got a phone call before yeah. coming out. Do you think that was maybe the school telling her what happened? Oh, and interesting. And she wanted to get her out before. Makes sense. She found out yeah, or whatever. Before she flips. She's not going to find out from. She doesn't use whatever. technology. She has candles. That's true. Mm. A, a very, mm. very dangerous amount of candles. Yeah. Open flames aren't cool, man. No. We learned that. We did learn that. As a society. We did. Carrie goes home. She does. Sees mommy. Uh, tells mommy about her blood situation. And mommy doesn't like it. Yeah, mom's not happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> she said... The first sin is intercourse, implying that she thinks her daughter had intercourse. Yeah, is, she. Yeah, I think she would assume that she didn't, but she's just so crazy that she's yeah, gonna like, put that thought in her I was head. Almost sort her, of. I'm like, she couldn't be in menopause for this long that she forgot what a period is. <laughs> she must know that every month, unless she was one of the few girls that just never do. Well, plus in the '70s, in general, it wasn't taught the way it is now. You know what I mean? But so girl, even other she, girls have to know. <laughs> well, no, but maybe she is just so yeah, just so psycho, basically, yeah. that she makes it her own yeah way of thinking about it. Or and I love that we actually get a reason later on for why the mother is so uh, angry. Partially, yeah, yeah. I other think. than just being psycho. <laughs> God, you're such a generality, man. Yeah, I am. There's Simplify reasons that for shit. everything. It's true. She's feeling negative feelings from her husband because she felt uh, sexualized at one point and liked it. I know. And then that she wouldn't. It's a, a guilt she's carrying with her that she takes out then on her daughter. Also, during this scene, this what? is the first time we get a great example of how the music goes from like really pretty sounding to sinister yeah. as soon as. The mom comes in and they start talking. It yeah. goes to creepy and oh, I love it. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and after she mom yells at her enough, she says, "Go to the damn prayer room. Think about what you did." Actually, when she's talking to Carrie too, there's a great shot of like Carrie looking up at her. Yeah, it's so yeah, well the power like, dynamic stuff. Every frame. Like of I painting. almost wonder if every shot was so thought out. But at the same time, when you when we were watching it, you were pointing out what was the seventies. So like this is kind of how it was shot because they didn't have the technology. Well, but this still seemed like a step ahead. Like, you have to make every sh shot matter. Each even shot so. was so well done. I I, I always even in, compared to other seventies movies. Yeah, and even today's movies. I always find when movies are shot like that, it's it's the result of good storyboarding. Oh yeah, there's been a few of them where it's just like just the time it takes to storyboard out every shot. I find movies. That do well in storyboarding end up looking like something like this, where every frame's a painting, every you know, every shot is meaningful. It literally seems like every scene, the first shot of it is a thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. Because like so. even when it goes to Carrie's mom for the first time, it's almost all black because it's in a dark room and she's in the kitchen yeah. and you just see those four arches. or the three arches yeah. and her standing there. Boom! Yeah, you click that yeah, and it's beautiful. a thumbnail, and then all of a sudden it's in the kitchen with yeah. her and Carrie and shit. It's crazy. I love it. Yep. Every scene's set up beautifully. But yeah, she's sent she she gets Harry Pottered. Yes. Put under the stair. Except it's like a, a closet. It's a very thin closet. Yeah, a little closet in the And just a little Jesus a very strange And a <laughs> candle in a closet. And That's a not safe, man. And Jesus has like three arrows in him's torso. Dude, this was a creepy ass looking Jesus. Yeah, and his eyes were glowing. Lively. He, he could have the shining. They were looking into Honestly, my if soul. If anyone had the shining, it would probably be Jesus. Maybe he's the first. Yeah. Oh. And we also find out during their conversation that she never told Carrie what a period was. Yeah. Yeah. Not her way of thinking, like yeah. her. What? Her description of what she thinks it is. Right. Her, her version, yeah. Because the only thing that Carrie says through the whole thing is, Mom, why didn't you tell me? Yeah. No, you're crazy. Mama, yeah. why didn't you tell me? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I was so embarrassed. Yeah. Why didn't you fucking tell yeah. me? Yeah. Does anything move here yet? No. Um, no. Because she gets pretty angry. She does get angry, but she never uses it on her mother. Yeah, I think maybe because she's just too scared yep. still of her at this point. Yep. And then, so she's praying in the room, and we see the mom sewing, and her slowly come out, 
Oh, uh, actually, something breaks here when she, Carrie goes to her room after yes. she's done praying. Yeah, when her mom's out. Yes. of the way. Yeah, pretty much because she's brushing her hair or brushing her teeth or something yeah. in the mirror. Yeah, and we get that really cool fucking yeah. Rub, 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 rub yeah. effect. And they're using the like a flexible mirror. And whoa, oh, whoa. so cool. Yeah. And then it breaks all over the place, yeah. and the mom's like, what the fuck, yeah. man? You're making all that fucking noise. Mirrors aren't cheap. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and Carrie's just praying on a branch. She's like, Ma, nothing broke. Yeah, you crazy. You're crazy. And actually, the mirror was fine. Yeah. She used her mind, and she fixed it. I thought it was still cracked. It was still cracked, oh, okay. but it was all, it was all back perfectly in place. Yeah, yeah. in place and nice. Yeah. And I wouldn't say fine. <laughs> It was fine. It was there. She she looks in it later, and yeah, it still works. True. And we saw Jesus on the on the roof in the attic where she sleeps. Jesus was everywhere. Yeah, I love oh, that yeah, guy. Oh yeah, he was in the mirror. Yeah, he was in the mirror, always when watching. She's brushing his hair. And then yeah. what happens the next day? The next day, well, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's now on her period. Oh, this is when we meet Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Good old Tommy with his blonde hair, his, bl- oh, that his blonde her. hawk. Hawks, Tommy locks. And who's the chick he hangs out with? Sue. What is their relationship? I believe they're boyfriend and girlfriend. Because they were originally supposed to go to the prom together. Oh, and then that's she asks right. him to ask Carrie. What a nice relationship. Well, what a nice Tommy. Because in this they... scene, it doesn't seem like Tommy likes Carrie just as much as everyone else. Because yes, the teacher's yeah. reading his poem. Yeah. The uh, the teacher that yeah. kind of sounds like Christopher Walken. I know, right? He, oh, my God. He was a great character actor, too. I love this guy. He's so good. <laughs> And yeah, so the teacher asks, it almost sounded like he was asking Tommy if he was plagiarizing it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, very good coming from a football yeah. guy. <laughs> I really thought that's where that was going. Yeah, but then too. he asked the class, what did everyone else think about it? And Carrie just says, it's beautiful. Yeah. And everyone's like laughing. Yeah. And, Why was it beautiful? Nah, 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 yeah. nah. And this is when we get a shot of just Tommy's half face, basically, with yeah. Carrie sitting behind him. That, that old foreground background shot. Love it. And uh, he doesn't look happy. Like, he looks pissed that this yeah. is being brought well, he on. He hangs out with the popular the kids, so... He you plays know, sports. He has an idea about Carrie and all the, guy, all the guys hate Carrie on the football team, I'm sure. Kicking the ball. Kicking the and... ball around, the old pigskin around. But I don't know why you would get laughed at. The teacher just asked a question. The old you know pigskin. Oh. This movie's deeper than we thought. It's so deep. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, guys. Ah, uh, gym class after the incident. Well, do they have the? Does uh, Sam and what are the two? Sue and S- Tommy. Sue and Tommy. Jesus Christ! Do they have the conversation? No, they don't yet. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they... it goes back to the girls, yeah. and this is when the teachers like, you could get two days detention. Yeah. And not go to the prom. God, or you didn't listen, dude. It's three days suspension, and your tickets revoked from the prom, or you spend a one week with me in vicious training. And if you leave the one week, three day suspension, lo- loss of prom privileges. All these broads want to go to prom. They do. And this is finally, I'm so glad. She's the gym teacher? What is she? Awesome. She's awesome. Miss Awesome is just takes command of these damn... If I will say these B words that we've seen in the opening scene, Miss Collins, Miss Collins, yes, and I hardly even know them, right? Um, and she essentially puts these girls in a concentration camp for a week and just run military training on Chris them. Chris doesn't like this though, because yeah. Chris is the lead bitch. She starts speaking up, and all the other girls are stern, like you know, I don't want to not go to prom. Yeah, like what are you? You so crazy? If the, our leader wants to go, she can go on her own. Crazy Chris. Yeah. She's like, I'm not going to do it. Well, thankfully, she does show up. Fun fact. What? The uh, actress who played Chris yeah. thought it was going to be a more comedic movie. Phenomenal. Her and uh, uh, Sue and uh, why, John Travolta. Oh, wow. They all thought that it was more a comedic <laughs> movie. Know who, I guess it was Stephen King's first book. I was well, say, plus, don't they horror know movies Steve- like this weren't huge right. at that point. And then when they saw it in the premiere, they were like, yeah. holy shit, this is it's actually pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Chris actually puts up a fight. Yeah. But the teacher doesn't put up with that shit. Thank God. In and a little uh, this, short shorts. This is 1976. Yeah. So, yeah. Who wears short shorts? They wear the short shorts. And then she slaps her. Oh, there's so many slaps in this Thank movie. Thank God. And they're all fucking great. They're fucking real. Fucking great. Fucking great, man. Fucking great. Do fucking great, man. I don't know what accent that is. 
I think it was, yeah, that was he slaps a, a little bit of everything, right, maybe. It's um, the universal accent. Because has there been a slap? Yep. Yeah, because the teacher slaps Mom, Carrie. Mom, sure, slaps Carrie. No, oh, the, yeah. the teacher slaps Carrie, yeah. but it's like a nice one. Cause, yeah, snap um, out of it, kind of. Yeah. It's still hard, though. Yeah, what do you want to do? Opening scene. Hey. Just so you yeah. know, warning. Yeah. There's well, going to be slaps. naked in the shower. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she gets slapped, and then everyone runs away, and I think she just stands there. She's like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Well, she really doesn't want to no. do this detention or whatever. Then we see a little bit of Carrie doing research in between all this. Yeah. Like it's On just science. Keep... Science. She's... Yeah. Do you remember? I never used them, so I'm assuming you never did. But those cue card things that she looks through, do you know what those are called? Is it just a table of contents in a library? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it... that makes sense. Yeah. I just came to a crazy realization. Oh? She was reading a book about miracles using to science explaining miracles and explains that the miracles that Jesus did are explained by science as telekinesis. Okay. Jesus might actually have the shining. There you go. You're right. <laughs> yeah. No, it makes sense. Because she was reading the book, and that's where she learned about telekinesis. And so she, she later when she explains it, she's like, more people can do this. It's not just me. Well, a little difference between the book and the movie is at the end, you hear about this, like, organization, I forget what it's called, but it's, like, the white something, like, named after uh -huh. her, and they're pretty much doing research on this okay. and come to the conclusion that, yeah, there are other people Very cool. that have The Shining, basically. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, uh, they're putting attention. She's doing all the research. It kind of keeps cutting back to her doing the research because yeah. first she's looking through those cue card things then she's pulling out the books and she's looking through all of them she's going yeah. crazy with this love it passion and i believe it's actually during this that tommy asks her out for the first time because it's yes, in the library it's in the library she like hides her books and he's like what are you looking up yeah this curly hair blonde he looks like peter frampton i don't know what it is peter frampton is a singer country singer no rock and roll what's the difference and it's actually cool. He got famous when he put out a live oh album. Yeah, it kind of does. Look at that. Right? That's crazy. Oh, my God. His hair's gone. There's Tommy. Oh, very cool. Well, that's a handsome guy. That's Tommy. Wow. 70s hair was great. So this is the... Carrie's in the goddamn library. He sneaks up on her with his beautiful locks. Says, come to the prom with me, Carrie. Carrie, I like you. Well, Do because... You... we Did we go over the conversation he had with his girl? I don't think so. Because they come up with this plan. Where uh, there, she's like, just invite Carrie out to the prom. Yeah, just take her out. Tommy. And he's Show like, her a good time. Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, so nobody's looking out for her. And, and then he agrees. So that's why he's asking her And that's around. Sue. His girlfriend, Sue. Is, the one that feels sorry for Carrie. Sue feels sorry for Sari. Sari. Eh? Sissy. Sissy Sa Sasek? Sa Sissy Sasek? Spacek? Spasek? Sissy Space. Sissy Spacek. <laughs> I love names. Oh, my God. She got bullied so much with that last name. Spacek? Yeah, there's a word. I don't know. It's probably not good to say today. Okay. Don't say but like it. Like a spaz, <laughs> you know? Spastic. I think that's a medical term. Oh. Someone who spazzes out. You remember how that we just used that? just sounds like a good time. In the 2000s. Okay. Don't you remember? A spaz being a spaz? Yeah, yeah. Nobody says that anymore. Probably no, for don't. a medical It'll reason. It'll come back. It wasn't a bad word. I was trying to think. I remember it becoming very harsh. Oh. Anyways. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, they, they devise a plan. She feels bad, asks him to ask her out, mm. uh, which we later find out means she won't be able to go to the prom. But yeah, in the library, he asks her, and she just runs. She just fucking runs. She bolts. And then he chases her, hunts her down in her house. <laughs> Is that right? No, that's later. No, that's later. Because then they're like, oh, why'd you let her go? You gotta go and fucking... Well, she runs away and then talks to the teacher. Oh, that's right. And we get that yeah, and the teacher's scene where like, the teacher's like, you're good looking. Look in the mirror. Again, she... This... What's her name? Oh my god, I'm forgetting the main actress's name. Carrie. Carrie. How could I have remembered that? It's I know, it's, it's a hard it's hard name. I gotta go through the mind palace. Carrie again is like nonverbal throughout this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And she's just sad and then the teacher has to go like brush her hair back and will go, Look beautiful girl. Looking in the mirror. Yeah. And then it does like a close up on the teacher and it kinda looks like she, she, she doesn't realizes quite it's not true. Yeah. Cause then she immediately goes hunt down curly hair. Yeah, little Curly Tommy, hair, Tommy, Tommy says, Blondie. What the fuck are you doing? And then both Tommy and Sue explain the plan. Kinda. Tommy's kind of like, yeah. I don't know. Tommy doesn't really want to sure. go down with it. But then the teacher's like, you have to go fucking follow up if this is the case. 
Yeah, if you're going to do yeah. it, you got to do it. Well, at first, she's telling them not to do it. Yeah. Because she's like, Tommy, what are you going to think everyone thinks about you? And you walk into the prom with Carrie, and she's like, yeah. it doesn't matter. We don't give a shit what people yeah. think. She's like, all right. This teacher fine. was really well written. I really oh, liked yeah. this teacher so much. Because she was asking all the right questions. She I was... think a lot of the characters yeah. were really well, well written. Yeah. Even the Sue and Tommy... Like, the way Tommy acts, kind of, he's in the middle. Like, I'm just kind of yeah. doing whatever. Like, she's the one that feels bad. Exactly. Just whatever. Yeah. Let me go. Boys I want to go to the prom. Boys don't understand. It's true. Oh, is Canada. this where we... Oh, we get introduced to the couple of the movie. The couple of the movie? John Travolta. Oh, those hunks. The goofy fucking guy, and the, the goofiest guy in this movie, especially in this scene, because yeah. it's like he has a split personality <laughs> yeah. that he's like... He's fight battling against the, during this car ride. Cracks open that beer. <laughs> yeah, that someone passes him. He's driving with Chris. See, and now whenever oh, we... Yeah, wa- they do pass it to him. We, whenever we watch 70s movies, I'm always like surprised about how many places people can smoke cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> And so in the scene, I'm like, whoa, you could smoke cigarettes in a car as a joke. <laughs> and then he gets past the beer. I'm like, well, you could drink in the 70s and drive. I mean, you can still drink and drive. It's just as long as you don't get caught. I just got a clip after that night. Don't drink and drive. Uh, yeah, on TikTok <laughs> in the 19, in 1967, I think it was an Australian law where they're like, okay, next week you guys can't drink and drive because it'll be outlawed. And they're interviewing people outside of bars. It was really funny. Oh, wow. Because they're like, I'm perfectly capable of driving. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I'm sure it, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't a law forever. Yeah. At one but point. But more recently than I thought. 67. Good times. Too funny. <laughs> yeah, and they get in, like, a weird fight. There's another slap here. Oh, that's she, right. He keeps calling him a dumb fuck or something, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, I told you not to call yeah. me that. Yeah. And we're seeing this weird dynamic this chick has over John Travolta's character, mm-hmm. where she like can turn on and off like sob stories and making him feel bad, and then lashing out at him. Oh yeah, she and got then him using whipped. sex to win him over. Was, she got, she got him whipped. She's like a big manipulator, and he's just a goofy little and he's horny just a goofy teenager guy that'll fall for it with a bum chin. Oh, I love it. I'd hide in there, I'd store my nuts. Oh. That's... <laughs> The police actually pull up on him too. That's right, with but a big he flashlight. He's just like, yeah. and his mouth is all wet. <laughs> it's all wet. He's he's wet down his yeah. shirt and shit. It's too funny. God, almost crashes. And then they park, and this is where she is gonna tell him her secret. Yeah, she hates Carrie White. Yeah, and she magically tells him while giving him a BJ. Yeah, which shouldn't be scientifically possible. As you very mentioned. talented. Yeah. Well, it could be. Right, you called her a ventriloquist. Yeah. Uh, she like drinking water and talking at the right? same time. She was just drinking something else. Yeah. Oh, oh, John Travolta water. I would drink that if they bottled it and sold it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, John. Listen, just if you're just out, there, it out there, just hey, listen, you're out there. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a buyer. John, 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 John. <laughs> <laughs> that was the John, original grudge name. John Travolta, circa seventy six, or John Travolta today, seventy six. Okay, yeah. yeah. They'd have to somehow with the technology. I don't know what they do. Me neither. But I want it, and I'm, I'm sure someone has it. a time machine somewhere. I'm sure it's frozen somewhere. People own DeLoreans, right? Right. So yeah. one, like the chances of one of them not being a time yeah. machine is less than one being. It a always time makes machine. it on the flux capacitor. That's what I'm saying. I put one in my Honda Civic. It's, it didn't work. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, All right. I didn't get fast enough. 88 miles an hour. I've definitely gone 88 miles. That's like 128 or 132. Oh, yeah, because there's a conversion. Yeah. So that's different. Yeah. Those long I don't drive, stretches. so. Yeah, it's fun. It's a blast. It, wow. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Carrie. All right, so they need to get some pig blood. Which is, God. I was watching this. I'm like, did they do this in the 70s? Did they go out to a farmer in the late of night to kill his livestock to use it for a prom prank? Put Kool-Aid in the goddamn bucket. I well, guess there's a psychological fun. aspect of like getting covered in blood, and maybe a metaphorical one. Well, yeah, and it's a movie. So maybe this gotta... explains why footballers were writing the best poems. Because maybe. using pig's blood to cover someone at prom, Just given the whole artistic. fertility thing and the period scene we got at first. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why Chris wanted to use blood. Oh, interesting. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Boom. I answered your question. I think they answered my question. Okay, for John Travolta being as goofy as he is in this, God, 
He he killed that pig he's way too easily. Well, he's just dumb. That's that's the whole thing. He goes for it though. <laughs> God damn. You gotta kill it. I guess. You don't want it to squeal. And How do you collect the blood after that though? I, if it's just lying there, they, like they probably, that was a big bucket. They put it back in the the in their pickup. Ew. They took it home, hung it up by its legs so that all the blood pours down, and you just put a bucket underneath. And then your family has something to eat for the next couple weeks. Bacon. Right. Pork chops. Right. Keep going. Porky pig. <laughs> Pork belly. <laughs> pig ears. Pig foot. Oh, yeah. Pig snouts. Hooves. Hooves. Do they have hooves? for glue. And I don't think. Oh, no. They do. They got like nails. They got little cloppers. They little got cloppers? like two. Yeah, they do. They got like a, two or three. Yeah, two. two points. Oh, yeah. So I'm sure there's something in their nails. Pork's pretty good. Yeah. You can just cook the whole pig Slow at once, roast too. It, make yeah. it pull Whoa. it apart. Or Ooh. like cook it in the ground. Carnitas. Yes. My I was thinking that the whole time. I just didn't I didn't want to take that away it, from you. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> it's okay. That's the kind of guy Brandon is. He will never say you're welcome. He'll say it's okay. I know. I did oh, you this shit. favor. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so now Carrie. Now Carrie. Um oh Tommy does go to her house. Yeah. And Carrie mm-hmm. finally speaks a wonderful sentence and I was immediately enamored by her. Cause it's a cute girl. Yeah, she's a cute girl. She's like, no, my mom's busy. My was was it kind of weird that she had like a like a Sw- southern, southern accent draw? almost? Yeah. It seems it like sense. it went away later they're on. They're like, though. yeah, in the Bible Belt. That's kind of like weird. it was like, hey, try this out. Yeah. And they're like, tone it down a yeah, bit. Yeah. But they had already shot what it. Was it Missouri? I don't know why oh, Missouri's coming to mind. Does it ever say where they were? Mm. I don't think it does. I keep reading prom on the Wikipedia page as porn, and it confuses me. Don't get confused. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. See where it was filmed. That doesn't matter. Uh, development. Development. Uh, Stephen King. I Lawrence Cohen. The book. Filming. White House in California. California. Yeah, California. Oh. Well. Yeah. I guess people can drive, is what we learned. It's true. People can in come cars. from all over. It's pretty crazy. Some people can be that American, and the others can be the other American. But she finally says yes. Yeah. Because she's like, why do you want to ask me? And he's like, you liked my poem. And she's like, oh. True. And I did. I did. Yeah. All right. I'll go with you. Yeah, yeah. On one condition. I have no idea. She, no there kissing. Was no, they kiss. Shit. No do a kiss, a kiss. Which is why I was confused. Why? Because he's a girlfriend. He's a girlfriend. That's I think infidelity. it was just a friendly get kiss. I love the 70s. <laughs> Everyone got it. <laughs> I just love the 70s because the music was great. Oh, dude, during the push-up scene, when the um the oh, gym coach was putting them through the week of training, and they're doing like, like squats. Goofy sounding music. And it was going to the on-screen actresses yeah. on time. God. Like, it, it almost felt like an American Pie movie yeah. during that scene, just because oh. it was... I loved it. Beat, like, yeah, it was like, do, 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 yeah. It was good shit. Very and they were fun. doing all the different yeah, exercises. exercises and went to the music. Terrible girl push-ups. Yeah, great uh, camera shots when they were doing push-ups. It was like on the ground yeah. but with the teacher's feet going back yeah. and forth as she was walking around them. So, so. good. Uh, but yeah, she says yes. Yeah. So now... You gotta tell mom. Fucking... That's a scary scene. Yeah. Mom doesn't want her to go to the prom. And... But Carrie's had enough. And she tells her during the Last Supper. Well, yeah, this is the first time Carrie actually stands up to her. Yeah. And, like, her mom's walking her way. She shuts the window. Yeah. She's like, that's Satan's power. Yeah. And she's like, nah, mom, everybody does this. They're all going to laugh at you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. That's an Adam Sandler bit for you Adam Sandler heads. Well, she does say it, too. Yeah. Because when she has the flashback of the problem, yeah. it just repeats. It repeats yeah. And it sounds just yes, like Adam yeah. Sandler. Well, Adam Sandler just sounds like that. But you How know. do you know? Because <laughs> 76. Time travel. We oh, went through right. this. John Travolta, milk. That's not what we said. <laughs> it's not a movie with teenagers in a prom without a little montage of everyone getting their prom dresses and shit. Oh, my God. And I love this. And I must say, all these fucking outfits are iconic. This is, this is when guys cared about their outfits, too. These jean jacket jeans pairs, these fucking hair. Everybody's hair is beautiful. Carrie's making her dress, Carrie's which is making pretty cool. Her dress. It was a beautiful dress, a nice little thin spaghetti strap white dress, satin, cotton. I think it was a little pink, off hey. white. 
Well, she had to be pure. Oh, red purity. Red. And it's going to be red later. It will That's be. crazy. Well, she should have waited longer than a week. I love no matter what time period it is, mm-hmm. there's always a guy in a tuxedo shirt. Yeah. Loved it. Ever since the 70s. You got to be just a clown sometimes. I had one of those shirts. I'm I not bet gonna you lie. did. And did people laugh? No, they liked it. I didn't wear it to prom. I didn't go to prom. Oh, thank God. Me neither. Yeah. Good time. I played CSGO 1.6. I couldn't CSGO. tell you what I did. I probably first. just did whatever I did every night at that time. Yikes. At one point, the mom wants to burn Carrie's dress. But it's okay. It might burn later anyway. It doesn't. Right. It doesn't. Oh, my God. But she's like, she's like, Carrie, we'll burn it and we'll pray. Yeah. We'll pray together. Yeah. She's like, no, mama. Oh, fuck you. When she's waiting for... um. Oh, Tommy? Tommy? Is this the scene or no? Probably. Because I loved this. Or it's not far scene. after, for sure. Because the director knew something. Yeah, no, yeah, because this is when the mom starts, like, hitting herself and really screaming, they're all going to laugh at you, and she starts, like, stop yeah. hitting yourself. This is probably mama. my favorite scene, because this whole movie has been playing on, uh, there's always been, like, a side B plot of mm-hmm. just everyone struggling with mental health, I guess is the best way. I don't know how they described it in the 70s. So that wasn't a term, really. But uh, internal struggles, the the skeletons in their closet. Mm-hmm. Um, and w- we realize that all of Katie's... F- Katie, my God, I'm just like the principal. <laughs> all of Carrie's fears um, were just derivative of her mom's anxieties. And so everything the mom was saying was something that would be inside of Carrie's mind mm-hmm. when she was all closed down and shut, shut off uh, from the rest of her classmates. And it's just verbatim. They're all going to laugh at you. He's not going to show up. He's not going to show up. Oh, it was so good. I do like how she's not taking it this yeah. time, though. And Carrie's standing up for herself, and it's beautiful. And I rooted for her, and I loved her. She ends up going to the prom. She looked beautiful, Brandon. She did. She looked gorgeous. I got to mention, though, the one character, I forget what her name was, but the one with the baseball hat. Yeah. This, that was such a random character, this, but such a great character because yeah. they stood out this, so like, much. This tomboy girl always wore this red cap. I think she was just a big baseball fan. Yeah, she always maybe. had like a baseball shirt yeah. or jacket on and the most horrible bangs yeah. ever. Just blondie. Because two of them, the ends of her bangs came down. Yeah. But then it was almost like oh, um, God, almost Monica, or not Monica, Courtney Cox and Scream 3, which Jesus, you haven't seen. We haven't seen these movies. Well, Pete, they, them they listening, haven't seen Scream 3. They they're just like me. Cut that high. Yeah. Just way up there. Yeah. Like an inch above the eyebrows. It's, it was it was so crazy. Like a princess. She was funny, and she's the first to laugh at Carrie, which is just mean. Good. She may have been the, uh, the true one. evil. <gasps> Satan. That's why she wore red. Yeah. Oh. Santa. Um, it's a Christmas movie, isn't it? Wasn't there a Christmas tree? There was tree? no green. No, the Christmas tree. There was no Christmas tree. What did tree? we see with a Christmas tree recently? Not Carrie. What did we watch? Because I last... said it. Oh, it was the Paranormal Activity clips. Oh, right. We didn't, yeah, we didn't review we didn't those. Know. You didn't hear anything. No, guys, don't listen. If you want us to review those movies, let us know. Let us know. I don't want to watch them. <laughs> we get another great shot. Where it's kind of like the uh, principal's office where Carrie and Tommy are sitting in the car outside of the prom. Yeah. And then in the background, you see the entrance with everyone going Mm -hmm. in and giving their tickets and shit. And they're just in the car. Talking. She doesn't want to go. He's kind of convincing her. We also had a scene. Do you remember the scene when the dude just randomly wants to be on the committee? The prom committee? Yeah. Yeah. As they're planning the blood, the blood Duncan. (laughs) <laughs> one they need of, to have someone yeah. in there. So one of the goons just goes up to the AV guy. He's like, hey, yeah, can I just join to uh, you know help set up this and that? And he's like, oh, it's a little too late. No, 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 I'll be there. Okay, be there at five. But he's so <laughs> precise. He's like, no, I want to count all the ballots. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a fake to, yeah. so that they can become prom king and queen. <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah, okay. Okay, be there by five. I'll be there at 8.30. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> And then the way they hide the ballots when they actually do that. Just drop them on it. the floor and kick them. <laughs> Someone's going to find those. Yeah. Just hold on to them or put them in a garbage. I guess it's just like long enough until the blood drops, which maybe someone will find it in five hours. But once you gotten away with it. Touche. They Touché. leave clues like in case a detective goes by and says, oh. Oh, I found these ballots. <laughs> See, now I want to know who actually won. Maybe it was Carrie. <gasps> right. Because everyone was oh, pretty happy when it happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That would be beautiful. They should have had someone stand up and be like, oh, they didn't mess up the yeah. ballots or something. This is fine, guy. As everyone's getting hosed down. <laughs> Wait, we've recounted. 
the song that was playing when they go into the prom was fucking awesome. Yeah. It wasn't a song like a radio hit or anything like that. It was like a that. synth. It may have just been made up for the movie, but yeah. they were talking about like the devil. Oh, yeah. But then they were talking about school. Yeah. I tried to look it up to see the lyrics, but I couldn't find what Damn. song it was. But I liked it. it well, that like means you band. have to provide that for the internet now. No. Go back and transcribe the whole scene. I'll do that Thank later. you. No problem. I got you back. Thank yes. You. Thank you. Then we get little prom shots. They're having fun. They're having fun. They're first sitting down, and then yeah. the teacher wants to talk to Kay. Carrie. 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 <laughs> it's Cassie. the name of the fucking movie. I think the name of the movie's Cassie. No. You're wrong. That's a matter of opinion. Okay. I love the teacher. She's such like a wonderful mother figure, guidance counselor to this young, young girl. She really is. What is she, Good 16? old Miss Collins. Carrie's 16? Yeah. Yeah. And then she's like, oh my God, will you kiss? I'm talking about my prom night. And then Tommy comes back and says, hey, why are you talking about a girl for? Ha, 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 and he ha. slaps the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever... <laughs> Keep Carrie's name <laughs> out, out of your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to. Uh, and, she, and then the gym teacher left. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was good. And then, uh, yeah, they go up and dance. <laughs> he teaches Carrie how to dance. You look kiss, kiss. She rests her head on his wonderful strong chest. He smells his wonderful old, blonde locks. Old Spice, I'm sure, existed. Maybe. Because it's old. It may have not been old. Oh, Maybe just, it was just spice. spice. They just put salt and pepper? Just spice. Oh, my God. Maybe that's what it was called. Just spice. Just spice. <laughs> Honestly. And then the Spice Girls came out. And oh, then and then it was all spice. Ah. People were getting confused. Yeah, yeah. They're like, is that the girls on the stage? <laughs> is that the smell of... Is that the Spice Girls water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that their bathtub water? <laughs> yeah, and then ballots come in. She doesn't want to vote for herself. And then she says, why? Fuck it, dude. Nobody else is worth it. Yeah, we're awesome. We cool. She gets all shy. And she's yeah. like, <laughs> I love this Carrie. I love this Carrie so much. So she's much so cute. That you remember her name. I know. <laughs> to, to me, outside of this scene, she was Cassie. She was Cammy. Now she is Carrie. She was Cardi B. She's coming into her now own. Now she's Carrie. And she, I see the woman she's supposed to be. Uh, Short lived. 16 years is not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a solid run. She, she saw a lot of yeah. things. Yeah. High school, you know, whatever. Cuz they go up on stage, very well, again, cool fucking shots, slow motion, yeah. so slow. But it was so good. Like we complain about yeah. like artsy films when it's like slow yeah, and it's so much was happening exactly. in this shot that it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. I love it. You have it. like three different things going on. You see the people under the stage planning the blood drop. The we backstage. should mention that Sue has actually come to the prom at this point just to watch yes. everything happen. Yeah. And she's standing right beside the rope yeah. that the bucket's on. And the whole one shot is one of the girls bringing up the fake ballots, putting it on the table, walking away. Then we're getting a still of a one shot into the backstage of them planning it with the string that they're holding. And then, and then literally back follows the Under the string. stage and then up into the whole gym. I like when it passes um, Sue. Yeah. She kind of notices the string and she's just kind of yeah, like, she's what? Wondering. And then keeps looking around. Yep. And then goes up to the bucket and then goes down to Carrie and yeah, Tommy. And then they the start stage. walking up oh, to the stage. Oh my God. So good. <sighs> but then Sue starts to notice the rope pulling yep. more. And she and starts she investigating sees the shadow underneath the stage, yeah. and this is still all in slow motion. Yeah. But while she's doing that, the teacher sees her and, and starts suspecting her of something. Yeah. So she starts following her yeah. as Sue's going to the stairs, and then Sue sees them. Yeah. Or sorry. Yeah. Sue Under sees stage. Chris and yeah. Ta or Billy with the stray, yeah. and she's trying to tell the teacher, but the teacher thinks she's there to sabotage yeah. something. And then one of the yeah, girls working for the prank comes to confront Sue, and they start getting to a scrap, mm -hmm. and where they all get pulled outside, and then it And drops. it's very noisy, too, yeah. during this. That's a big thing right now, because as soon as it gets pulled, yeah. the blood drops and just yeah. silence. Great shot, too. Complete silence. <laughs> fucking bucket <laughs> falls onto Billy's head. And he well, first it's hanging there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Carrie's just like looking out into the crowd. The girl yeah. with the hat is the only one like starting yeah. to laugh. No yeah. one's actually really laughing yeah. at this point. Yeah. And then, yeah, the bucket unhinges <laughs> or unties and smacks Tommy Still in the in head. Still in slow motion. 
And it is so funny looking, and it sucks that he dies from it, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although he could have been burned. He, But I think that yeah, would have not Because yeah. those buckets are fucking big. Yeah. Those steel, those like, buckets. farmer buckets. Yeah. <sighs> Yeehaw. They got some heft That to explains them. where they got the bucket from. The farm. Well, yeah. Oh. I think it was, like, a small town with farms around yeah. it and shit. Wonderful. I mean, the way he swung at that pig, he, he oh. maybe have been the son of a farmer. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeehaw. Giddy up. And that scene was great, too, because of all the paintings on the... And they're like talking about each individual pig. Yeah. Anyway, we already passed it, but yeah. it was funny. Yes, bucket falls. It's all quiet, oh. and then as soon as she snaps, it just cool starts getting shot. really loud. And then we get all the psycho uh, violins yeah. every time she's looking around. Yeah, because that was yeah the the sort of cue of when she was using her powers, her she telekinesis gets the fire hose on everybody. Yeah, and this getting a fucking hose down. cool shot where it's split screen of her wide eyed looking around at the things she wants to move really mm-hmm. quick, and then we're getting the shot of what she's moving, just side by side in, like, fucking portrait. People uh-huh. are getting electrocuted, yeah. shot with the fire hose, which apparently someone's eardrums <laughs> yeah. actually burst from that IRL. For six months they were out, but and they kept that what, shot. Yeah, that's what we yeah. see. They usually do. When yeah. something goes oh. wrong, they're like, oh, that was the best one. Out of respect. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie Chan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, people get electrocuted. People are... Fucking falling off shit, yeah. falling over Just chaos. shit. And then um, the electrocution goes to the point of lighting fires. Well, yeah, first it uh, electrocutes. I don't know if it was the teacher that was in the poetry class or the principal. Yeah, one of the but two. But he gets electrocuted. Oh, yeah, because a bunch of them run up on stage and like grab the mic and it starts shocking yeah. them. And then he falls back, starts a fire. Yeah. All while she's holding the doors closed. The poor teacher yeah. gets hit. I don't even know what falls. It was something in the Black rafters. Board, I think. No, it wasn't a blackboard. They were in the gym. A blackboard falls on someone. They were in a gym, though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was some sort of like decoration yeah. for the prom, but it literally swings down, yeah. cuts her in half, basically. Yeah. And she's fucking oh yeah, just hits her right blood. in the fucking yeah. tummy. Oh, that was so sad. Well, in the book, she doesn't. That's true. Yeah, I don't think she dies in the book. Good yeah, call. I don't think everyone dies in the books. I know another student, uh, maybe Billy, mm. possibly Tommy. No, I think Tommy dies in the book. <sighs> um, but they escape and they end up in a mental institution. Oh, maybe Sue. Oh, yeah, Sue did live. Sue does yeah. live in the book and and the, um, probably the chick in the movie. Because once we get to the end, I'll t- there's a difference between yeah. the book and the movie. Um, and yeah. So yeah, everything's in on fire. And now. She walks out. I think that's everything from that scene. Great shots. Yep. Everything goes red as yeah. soon as that happens because she like turns the the lights into red. Yeah. It's yeah, so right. good. And what's even cooler is that Tommy, or not Tommy, Billy and Chris, the two bullies that pulled the rope, were the only ones to escape uh, before it happened, and they're watching it all through the oh, window. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. Yeah, and yeah. then they fuck off. Carrie leaves the school. Great shot of her leaving yeah. with it just on fire yeah. and shit. And you really wonder if she has the powers of Satan or not when you watch it's this. It's true. Or maybe she's just the first X-Men. I think she's Jean Grey. Jesus flipped a table when he got angry. It's so true. it's sort of similar. And then made water into wine to, yeah, to you know, crazy. put water over the bridge. He said, I got, boys, Wonder it. I got you an endless basket of fish and all the wine you could drink. You couldn't get steak, man? No. You bread and fish. That was one of the stories. Breaded fish. Bread, bread and fish. And I, I guess know. they never combined. I know the stories. They never combined. The, I know the stories. <laughs> I do. I do. I went to, I went to Catholic school. Did you? For a year or two. Oh, wow. Enough. You learned that much. Well, my family's Catholic, too. We had, like, Bible study and shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fun. Yeah, so she leaves the school. She's just walking through the town. She's just going to start heading home. She is covered in fucking blood, and a fire truck just passes her. Oh, yeah. Like, I know they're going to a fire, but you would think they would, like, stop and, like, maybe grab her or... a fire. Man, yeah, I guess. They don't don't have somewhere to put her. That's for the police. Touche. It was still funny. It <laughs> doesn't even 70s. look like they look at her. Yeah. Any, anyway. I, okay. It's the 70s. <laughs> but then someone else finds They're her, They're probably too. all drunk. Billy and Chris come up on her and try to run her over. Oh, that's right. And then she just fucking... It's just mean. And s- s- flicks them off. Great. Yeah, she does a little, like, yeah. weird movement. Yeah. She's like, what's She's, like, turns into Airbender and from Avatar. And it does the cycle. Yeah, yeah. That's not what it sounds like. Violin sting. Yeah, the violins. I just didn't want to hurt everyone's ears. I was going to say eyes. But this is an audio podcast. There's a cool f- car flip. There's a cool explosion because she fucking blasts her hand again. Well, it rolls. It doesn't flip. 
a barrel rolls. Okay, mister. And well, first off, flip, it would be a like barrel this. roll is an aileron roll. Oh, sorry, no, an aileron roll is what you're thinking is a barrel roll. Yeah. A barrel and that's roll what it did. is in the flight is when they do a full circle. That's what a barrel roll is. But we're not talking about a plane, we're talking about a car. Maybe. So a barrel roll is when it flips on its side over and over. You ever seen a barrel roll? Me yeah, too. we saw it in Carrie. Yeah, we did. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. So they're dead now. Assuming. And the bum chin. And the bum chin. It's gone. The bum chin actually flew off and they had the prosthetic laying on the ground as Carrie walks home. I own it. It's mine. Good for you. It is my bum chin. You try it on? Once. <laughs> it scared me a little. Yeah. The demon started coming in. All those crazy bum chin demons. <laughs> <laughs> they have a cult. But Carrie gets home. Yeah. We get a great shot of her walking up to the house, which also kind of looks like it's on fire. Yeah. Because it pretty much is. It is. The yeah. only thing stopping it from being on fire is a little wax stick and under a, all those hundreds a, of candles. And a wick. And a wick. Mm. Well, if you don't have the stick, the wick, the wick don't will, do shit. Yeah. If you don't have the, the... Is there a lot of rhyming there? Just like three. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And this last one was an iffy. Which one? Oh, the rhyme? Yeah. Was it like an unofficial it was, rhyme? It was a slant rhyme. Emily Dickinson would be proud, but... Nice. I like her. Yeah, she's a great chick. Um, Yeah, she goes home. Nice slow shot of her kind of looking for mom. Just looking Just through the house. Candles. Like, Why are these candles? It's yeah. not my birthday. It's not my birthday. I can't blow out this many candles. It's my death day. Oh! <gasps> Blum, 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 blum. Fun fact, in the book, she basically destroys the fucking town. Oh, shit. She goes to town with her oh, telekinesis. Laser vision. That'd be cool. She turns large and starts Everything's stomping. flying around and yeah. blowing up, and people are like Plasma breath. And yeah. It's insane. That's cool. But no, here she, she just goes to her, her mom first. She, she goes to her humble boat, hops into the bathroom because she needs a little bath. Um, Because she got red on her. But there's a little something special. When she's walking into the bathtub. How long do you think she was standing there for? The whole time. She's like she, gone. She's crazy. She's gone. Uh, when she flicks open the light to the bathroom, we just see right behind the door, it lights up her mom's face. But as we notice, because we were wound, yeah. she's there the entire yeah. time when Carrie comes up the stairs. Yeah. She's just in the in, dark. Yeah, so good. So I want to know, how long was the mom there while she was at the prom? Or was she somewhere in the house and heard haven't, Carrie coming? Oh, interesting. And just ran up and went, all right, positions. Well, haven't you been in those states before? Not at the age play, I'm at now. You ever play hide and go seek? Once again, not just, at the age I'm at now. You got to start playing hide and go seek, dude. All right, well. There's clubs I can invite you to. Kind of sounds creepy, and I love it. Imagine, though. Some people what, rent out a warehouse I'm just sure there's for the something purpose like of, that like, somewhere. Huge hide and go seek rounds, but I mean, then they're laser busy. tag or something. Yeah, kind of right. like that. There are the assholes that would memorize everything, though. Mm. They should have prop hunts in real life. <laughs> they they probably do. There's probably somewhere that is that with someone with a lot of money yeah. that loves stuff like that. That's done something. Here's a barrel. Hide inside. I mean, of didn't it. someone make a whole paintball thing that was Nuketown? Yes. Yeah. So there's definitely oh, yeah, people with money that do that. I would shit. love to. Because I'm sure if we had money, we'd be like, oh, I'm doing that next yeah. week. We'd Dead by Daylight. Put it together, buy person. some property. Yeah. I would. would you play Dead by Daylight in real for That'd a Halloween fun. experience? If you could pull that off, yeah. yeah. You'd need a lot of fucking land, though, to make it like fun. Farm, yeah. Yeah. All right, so. She goes, takes a bath on her way out. Hello, mama. Mama's here. And, uh. The mother kind of just starts getting on her knees and yeah, starts she, confiding in her. Yeah, she hugs her at first. And this is where we learn about the mother's anxieties and why she is taking out her anger onto Carrie. Because she says she should have killed her when she was born and then goes into... Well, yeah, that... That's how she starts yes, it. It's yeah. creepy as that fuck. Her, that her husband, um, they never had sex, assumingly, throughout the relationship. Well, yeah, because they weren't married yet, but uh, they shared a bed. And so her husband comes home drunk one night and forces himself, and he, she ends up enjoying it. And I would assume that was the night that the daughter was conceived as well. Carrie was conceived. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and because uh, we hear earlier in the movie too, because Carrie's mom, um, the the dad comes up somehow, and Carrie's like, he ran off with another woman. Right. Like everyone knows that mom, yeah. so I'm pretty sure he he just couldn't put yeah, up with exactly. the mom. And yeah, after that, I'm sure she went even crazier, and maybe even told him that she wanted to kill the baby. Yeah. yeah. Because she starts with that. She's like, yeah, she I knew I should have killed you right when you were born and sent you up to God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but I was weak. That's what yeah, she yeah. says. Wow. And then she goes into the whole thing. 
Yeah. And yeah, she, she says, uh, I took your father down. We prayed, but I saw that look in his eye and I mm. smelt that whiskey on his breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like crying. It's so yeah, fucking well acted. Uh, and then she does a little prank on Carrie and says, prank, I got you. Guess what I got behind my back? And she stabs her in her back. Mm-hmm. And sends her down the stairs, too. Tumble, 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 tumble. Holds Not on really. to the knife, though. Yeah, yeah. And then is, like, coming down at her. Yeah. And this is when you know she's a psycho crazy ass bitch yeah. because she has a fucking smile the entire yeah. time. She's like, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill and right you. as she's about to come down with her knife, Carrie does her fucking Jedi mind tricks. Oh, dude, this was so well done. Yeah. Starts pulling knives out of the holders, pins the mom's hand with the knife in one of the walls. In a doorway, too. Yeah. Like, not a up against a wall, yeah. in a doorway in, a, in the door yeah. frame. And then her other hand goes, and then just fucking <laughs> four more knives in her fucking torso. You know how that was done? Um, I would imagine reverse shots. Yeah, so yeah. the knives were yeah. like already in her on strings, yeah, and, and then they pull would them pull them. Yeah, which is really cool. I love that. Um, yeah, and then she ends great. up looking like the little Jesus statue yeah, yeah. in the cupboard, which they uh, they shouldn't have inserted a shot of it because I got it immediately. I got it, guys. Steven. You got it. I got it. I did. I, but yeah. if anything, they should have had it like um. Like, if, if we were on a computer, like, the opacity down on Jesus, oh, and yes. just kind of have it on top oh, of her. just overlaid over top, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then go back to Carrie. Yeah. Because then Carrie is obviously upset, because her mom is really the only person yeah. she has left, even though her mom want, just wanted to kill her. Interesting how that works, guys. It's, it's tough. You know, family. Family. If it's all you got, but yet... Hakuna Matata. The crazy. It's, it's it tough. Says, it's then tough. you just have crazy family. So she pulls one of the knives out, and she just her mom's just like hanging there yeah. from one hand. She's it's hugging just, her. She's yeah. like, "Mama, wake up! Yeah. I'm sorry." And she—I don't know if she starts pulling the other knives no, out, but no. um, at this point, oh yeah, that's right, she does because when she starts carrying her mother away, oh yeah, but yeah, explain what happens. <laughs> this is yeah, just the, when everything the, starts. The house to starts fall. collapsing, and she pulls her mother away, and the last knife in the wall just makes like a <laughs> sound. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was like a popping sound that was like very just like not a, right. Oh. <laughs> like she was made of yeah, like, air and plastic. Yeah, just... <laughs> um, yeah the house yeah. just starts imploding in on itself. And it, I always thought, because I haven't seen this for a while too, I always thought she made it implode, but it, it looks like she's shocked yes, when it starts yeah. happening. Or it's so extreme emotion that she can't control her powers. That makes sense too. That too. Because um, she's so emotionally... Yeah. Uh, like distraught yeah. because of what the situation now killing her mom yeah. like it's just fucking yeah it's out and of you control. can't and those are kind of the emotions that are probably the hardest to control right. like anger there's yeah. always probably something that can like bring you down at least a little bit yeah. but when you're like the, sad about something the advanced emotions you can't just bring that down yeah. right away especially when like, you're holding the body yeah, of it your turns mom. into like peril and yeah and some advanced ones and which is what's funny about this scene is originally they did shoot um, meteors You're coming right. down. Yeah. Um, but apparently the way they did it, they were just kind of shooting rocks into the <laughs> sky flying, to yeah. fall onto the ro- uh, house. But it ended up ended up just looking like um ra- like heavy rain. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they got rid of that, just... which is why I didn't notice it when we looked at when we were watching it. But it showed the clip oh. again in the video I was watching. You do see little rocks. Oh, in those holes. But, oh, because well, you know you. the holes just yeah. look like they're pushed down. It's yeah, it's the boulders uh, coming down. <laughs> That's hilarious. Which I can't remember if that happens to the house in the book, in the book but I know Carrie doesn't die in the house oh, okay. in the book because she leaves, and I believe it's here that she kills um, Billy and Chris. Oh shit! And then right after, is that what happens? Because then right after that. Um, Sue finds her, and she just collapses in Sue's arms and, oh, and, and dies oh, in her arms. Oh, Joe oh, just dies. And Sue tells her, like, I had nothing to do with this. Me and Tommy. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Yeah. At least there's closure or something. Yeah. And then, of course, other people survived and ended up, like, one wrote a book. We hear about a book being written about right. more people with these powers. And then someone ended up in a mental institution, which there's a sequel to this movie that came out called Rage Carry 2. And the person who ends up in the mental institution is actually Sue. Because at the end of this movie, we get I th- what I think is one of the first jump scares at the end of a movie. Okay. Sue visits the house, the remains of the house. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
You don't, you don't remember, do you? No, I do. I'm trying to... Because she wakes up somewhere. Yeah, she's in a hospital. So I, it might be implying that she's in a, a mental, mental yeah. institution. And, that and she, that's probably where they got the idea for the sequel, because that's where she is. And that sh- she maybe didn't even visit. Oh, no, I think that was a dream, 100%. Okay, for yeah, sure. she was just remembering it. Yeah, because Carrie didn't go come back to life. No. But yeah. that was a great... Because that... A lot of people praise... Uh, Friday the 13th for doing that, and I'm not going to tell you why, because okay. it's too good. Um, but this was 76, so this was like yeah. five years, I believe, before that. Yeah. So, yeah, this was like yeah. one of the first jump scares. And what's cool is Casey, or, yeah, uh, Sissy Spacek, <laughs> Carrie, Casey, Sissy, Yeah, um, she actually wanted to do the stunt. And they were well, like, okay. no, it's just your hand. Like, we'll put someone else <laughs> in the ground. I have and to. she was like, no, i got to do it. It's my character. Yeah. I and they're of like, course. all right. So they put her in a box and they actually got her husband to bury her. Oh, cool. Because the director was like, I, I'm not burying you. <laughs> like, So good. Well, it's like an insurance thing, too. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. hurt the main actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they'll probably end up asking for more money, too. <laughs> um, That's so good. I loved that scene, except her hand moves a little too slow. It's just like, eh. Oh, got you. Like, eh. It should really just be up. Well, maybe. With, it, with the violin thing. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's a, uh, not a, not a, Carrie's not trying to scare Sue, but trying to reach out to her. Oh. Well, she seems pretty scared when it goes to her in the bed. Well, that's... She's screaming that's and Sue's shouting. That's Sue's fault for not dealing with the situation twisting well. Twisting and shouting and pouting. I don't know. Twist and shout came out in 1978. That's not true at all. Okay. You're like 10 years off. What do you give this movie? Or 20. What? Twist and shout was on the first Beatles album. It was that old? They made a fucking hit. And their first album was 60. Yeah. 62, 63. Early 60s. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised fuck. they released something in 58. I loved this movie. I'm not going to lie. Um, fuck. It, I'm not, it's really hard not to go five out of five, to okay. be honest. Yeah. The, especially for its time. Yeah. And me knowing what that time period was like. Cause I know a lot of people watch it, like all the slaps and just a lot of the, even the bullying in the school. Yep. Was actually like that yeah. back then. Yeah. So people are... The I, girls I were see, that nasty? From stories I've heard that Jesus. from people that grew up in the 70s, yeah. They needed a fucking well, iPhone. Well, even guys, because that's when they had hazing. They were beating yeah. people with paddles. Oh, God. Which is scary, because when I started high school, was literally the last year they were doing that. <laughs> and cops were actually, like, oh, confiscating it and put they, like putting an end to it. Jesus. And then I never heard about it after that. Oh. Yeah. That's when they used to brand people for <laughs> fucking joining a fraternity. Well, yeah, that's like college. Oh, that shit's crazy. Yeah, I think I might have to go five. You're going five. five? Great music. Yeah, amazing cinematography. The characters were fantastic. Um, between Sissy Spacek and Piper Laurie playing her mother. Yeah, holy fuck, great. And then Betty Buckley as the teacher. Even she was well done. The only goofy ass character was John Travolta, but it it still made sense because he's just a goofy ass horny guy. Yeah, Yeah. uh, horny teenager. Yeah. Yeah, five out yeah, of five. Yeah, I, I hit the same sort of points as you do. But whenever I think about, like, this movie's a 5.5, what could it have done to be perfect, in my mind? What I go to is, um, I wish it had a little bit more meat to it. Because mm. it felt like it was setting up a sequel. Like, I feel like the movie wasn't... It, it, uh, the story being told didn't necessarily take up an hour and a half, but it was enjoyable throughout the entire hour and a half. Mm-hmm. So if my only nitpick would be that I wish there was more going on, I mm-hmm. guess, throughout the movie, um, because it told a relatively simple story, but very well. Um, but, like, it can't be far off. I'm like, 4.85. I think that's my first third right. third digit, but that's what feels really right to say. It's tough. Yeah. Like, it Wow, it was so well done. It was really fucking good. It's a great watch. And, and I, I like that it wasn't setting up a sequel, because yes. I find it... I wouldn't want Carrie to kind of go exactly. through that, because yeah. it would just be putting her in more peril to try and face the world after all of that. I would like a, like a Stranger Things thing, where she does a huge thing and then just kind of changes her name and disappears off the grid and grows hair. Mm. <laughs> and, well, and Stranger starts Things, life. it's probably... They probably got inspiration from this, how... In the latest season, spoilers if you haven't seen it, mm. they make you think that Eleven killed all the other kids in right. the hospital. That's very right. Very much like Carrie, but then we find out it was number one. Oh, and then we could learn that Carrie was actually possessed at this point, and there is actually some sort of entity 
Well, supposedly, before Stephen King wrote the ending he had and showed it to like his publisher, because he wanted a lot of help yeah. on this story, and it took forever for him to finish, because he didn't really like it, apparently. Um, she was going to be standing somewhere. I don't know if it was still at the prom or something, but she was going to grow horns. So oh. she was going to turn into like an antichrist. Very cool. But then the guy was like, no, it too. doesn't go with the feeling of the rest of the story. Yeah. Like, try and dumb it down a yeah. little or like. It's a little it nice. more fantasy yeah. than, the, than the movie is. And it's too. It wouldn't be too much of a twist if it's like, oh, yeah, the mom was right. She is the devil. See? Yeah. Because I, I, like, mm. I was kind of expecting that to happen, too, because the mom was right. They did prank her at prom and everything like that. Um Especially because I think The Omen came out in the 70s. Like, we already had Rosemary's Baby was big then. It was just yeah. very on the mark for that sort of thing. Like, yeah. Devil Child. Yeah. Because all parents Which think. Which is funny because we just thought Martin was the Devil's Child. Right. And he did play the Joker, guys. Yeah, we're sorry about that. We're stupid. No, it was just Brandon. Well, yeah. I don't know anything, so I can never be stupid. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I can never be wrong. All right, yeah, this is a but yeah, great fantastic flick, guys. film. Give it a watch. Great book, great author, great director, great actors, great music. I love the music. I'm sorry. Yeah, me it's too. so good. And we're going to keep the Stephen King theme going, and we're watching, what's it called? Needful Things. Needful Things. A little next. bit of a lesser known movie. Yeah. Not a lot of people talk about it. People like it when they watch it. Oh, shit. It's like a half and half. Okay. I don't really remember it. I've seen it once, like when it came out. So I was like 97 or some shit. You can't go wrong with Stephen King, though. It's true. I he's like my the guy. favorite author. Oh, wonderful. You would you might say he's the king of horror. That's insane. He is a king of horror. He is. There are lots like Lovecraft. Lovecraft. And Poe. He really Is it Poe or Alan Poe? Alan Poe? Edgar Allan Poe? No, I know that, but what's his last name? Would you po. just say Poe? Yeah. Mr. Okay. Poe. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's like two names. Like is it Edgar Allan? Does he go by Edgar Allan or Edgar? You're scaring me. <laughs> These are questions we need answers to. I know he has Poe has friends with Tinky Winky and Dipsy and Lala. So if you were to meet H.P. Lovecraft, what would you call him? Mr. H? Or Mr. Lovecraft. Or yeah, Mr. Peepee. Easy. But what if you're on a formal basis? Uh, Mr. Herbert? Lovecraft. Was his name Herbert? Herbert. Herbert, 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 Herbert Peter Pee-wee. Lovecraft? Herbert Peewee Munchcraft. So there aren't that many. Patrick? Herbert Patrick? Yeah. Well, I mean, any think HP about that. This is like 1910s. Okay, so Herbert's pretty old. Herbert's old, maybe, maybe uh, Petun- Peter Petunia. Peter's one. Petunia. Parl. Parl. Paul. Paul Parl Pantry. Herbert Pantry Lovecraft. That's it. Thanks for tuning in to this episode, everybody. Guys, you gotta check our Twitter. 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 <laughs> check our Twitter. Check our Instagram. Sorry, check our X. No, we can't be outdated. We gotta be on the up and up. No. Check our X. Everyone still calls it Twitter. Don't be cool. Who's everyone? Every all all the people. Well, I'm everyone, and I'm not saying it. You're no one. <gasps> You're Steven. Check us up on I'm Apple Music. I'm Apple I Music. Heart, heart, H Heart Maple Music. Check us out on Instagram, not on Facebook. <laughs> guys, you know what to do. We're gonna we're gonna hey guys. We're gonna just take a bath together. We're, we're, we're gonna, gonna make down. like a bucket and dump ourselves out of here. Oh, put a toilet flush sound effect. Mm. Okay. Don't forget. Why are you clenching your fist at me? Do you want to punch me? I was me? pointing at you. No, but that was like a trick for the audience oh. to think that you were doing that. Oh. Yeah. Well, shouldn't they? F- don't forget. I lie to them. Oh. Don't forget. Bum, Bum chins, chins are, are awesome. awesome. And you should wear them on a nightly basis. Always. You should put a paper clip. In the middle of your chin so that you can make one yourself. Yeah, just tape it there. Yeah. And I'm sure it'll form over time. I'm sure, guys. Could you imagine if that's what they used to do? <laughs> that's why they're so prominent <laughs> If we back find then. out that there's like a way to make it. It's like anyway. jostercise. size. <laughs> guys, we love you. We do. Stay weird. Never eat shredded wheat. Never. Unless it's green. Then what? Then eat it. Oh. Or smoke it. Oh. <laughs> green eggs and ham. That's what he was talking what? about. Uh, Don't Dr. smoke Seuss. that. Sure, you haven't tried. Don't smoke. Have you him. seen that man's books, Doctor Seuss? So you're gonna smoke his eggs? I'm gonna smoke <laughs> the eggs out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smoke the eggs out of his ass. Oh, corn dogs. Oh.